overtime budget and why we need to look at um, how many people can be off on a crew. Up here you'll see nine FT, so that's nine full-time firefighters working that day. So in looking at this day, this is a Sunday, you have one firefighter working, two firefighters, three. You have one that is also working, one that's on sick leave, one that's on workman's comp, one that's on vacation, and one that's on sick leave. Mind you, we have nine people that scheduled on this crew. 24 hours. So not all, are we only paying sick leave, workman's comp, vacation, sick leave. Now we have to pay overtime to fill those spots. Works here on this day, worked his regular shift or her regular shift, worked another day, worked their regular shift, but worked five hours worked a regular day, and worked another five hours. This is all in a row. It's the same person. Regular day, work overtime. Regular day, work overtime. Regular day, work overtime. This is two hours of overtime. This is 11 hours of overtime. Then they called in sick. Called in sick. Work a day. <laughs> now they take an overtime. <laughs> Here's some numbers that I want you to look at. This individual also had 168 hours of overtime. But look at how many days they worked in a row, which is highlighted in yellow. And again, if you see the overtime hours that we have, it's a little over 6,000 hours, or a lot over 6,000 hours. Just at this instance, there is a question about what happened between December and January for the payroll to explode? I hope I have explained that objective. In the last three years, we as employees have had to sit back and watch what was once a proud and respected fire department become financially plundered mismanaged, stripped of our once proud name, and our reputation dragged through the mud. Nothing has changed with this current administration. Under the current spending practices of this administration, we as a fire department will be bankrupt by September. overwork your medics. You're going to burn them out. And it's, a, it's an issue for the residents and it's an issue for the board because if we have paramedics that are working nonstop, running call after call, not able to eat, not able to catch a nap, because it's a 24-hour period. this $27,000 and it just pisses me off because let me tell you something she can't approve she can't approve a $27,000 raise to herself she can't give it to herself I can name four chiefs and I will name them that were given chief jobs and you can bet that they didn't go in and make less than the guys that they were the boss of and it's just it's just stupid and uh, the vote of no confidence letter let's talk about that for just a second they're a union they got a right to do it i don't know what you do for a living i don't know what you do for a living i don't know what you do for a living but i guarantee you you can't as a non-union employee get a letter and have somebody decide 
and get him, her, or her, or her fired from their job. I mean, it's, it's wrong. It's going to always be wrong. I saw it happen at Pattonville with an EMS supervisor. I also found it interesting that uh, when Chief Eldon was um, appointed to that position, uh, being the first uh, female uh, black fire chief in the state of Missouri, um, as well as the third in the, uh, third in the, in the uh, nation, if not the world. Um, she wasn't on the front page when that happened. I guess, I guess when there's a story that, you know, um, portrayed of her in a negative light, in, in my opinion, which was totally unfair, um, it kind of exacerbated an already pensive uh, situation. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm just really um, you know, perturbed that, you know, again, you know, I don't think that, you know, the chief has really been, been given a fair shake as far as, um, you know, trying to execute her duties as a chief, so. You won't find any chief in St. Louis County out of the 42, 43 fire departments, fire district that make less than the people that they are over. And it's just crazy. I don't know if it's a woman thing or if she's the first African-American chief, female chief. It just makes no sense. And if this was a male, I don't think it would be any question whatsoever. I mean, they're expecting miracles. And if there was a man sitting there, they wouldn't say a word. She's African American. That's another problem. A lot of men have a problem with ta taking orders from a woman. You have to take orders from somebody at some point, whether it's your mother, your grandmother, your wife. Me being here talking to you, this could cause me some problem at work, but I really don't care. I'm on my off time. It's America, and at some point you have to stand up, and uh, if you can fight a fire, risk your life, you can sure show support for your brothers, no matter what side they're on, and uh, that's what it should be about, so that's why I'm here.